Hello friends. Good afternoon. Today I am going to explain how we can use Odoo 18 code calculator into our real time business case. So normally Odoo create codes with single unit of measure, but when we have a situation like where we need to insert length and width kind of parameter and calculate our final unit of measure, how we can achieve that. So let's do that by adding some studio field and create our own calculator based on that to input those parameter inside this. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to uh, add two new field in my quotation line item. I have already created two field for my practice purpose. So I am adding length over here and then I am adding existing field a width over here okay. so let me proceed to it with length and width and quantity with square feet so what i am planning to say is carpentry services so it always work when i am measuring some length and width and then it will convert into real time quantity as a square feet and with unit price i can reach to certain price limit but how I can auto update this quantity field based on my length and width input. So in order to achieve that, you know, uh, we can use Odoo's code calculator. So to enable that, we go to setting and enable this code template and let, uh, you know, use one of the template or create a new template. So let me go over here and create a new code template. So can go from configuration and code template and create a new my services and then I can add the product over here with whatever the size and then okay, my C1 services will be my code calculator template I want. So whenever I go there it will list down all the item in my uh, you know list view so what i do is i don't want everything in my list i only need that item which i am planning to you know use as a real time code calculator so i will simply remove that and then i go back to my template and then let's program it how we can use this calculator in real time so i am going into sales quotation I'm going to create a new quotation customer two and i am launching this my carpentry services it will load all this information and then once i go that inside it it will load the standard template so how now i can add those two new fields over here so in order to do that we can introduce the fields which are coming in the view so now beside quantity i want to add my length then I want to add width and in real time I want to connect it here so what I'll do is I will copy this as a header which I want to replace with my things so I go here I connect with my length parameter here removing this product quantity and connecting with my, this parameter so these two parameters are there. Going it back, if I am adding anything over here, saving this and going calculator, you know, it should appear over here. So how it should appear, I just drag and drop from this way and then it will create one is my first line, first row and then it will catch up the value from. So now these two values are available with me. Now we will create the calculation field at the end uh, to see real time how it will help us. So now I will say new square foot which I want to add which is nothing but a calculation of my length and width. Okay. But now in order to change these two value uh, from that uh, front end or from back end, I can say new length, new width, so that I can update those values from here only. So, 
To, in order to do that, I need to synchronize this particular field with those values. Okay, so how we can do that? So this calculation is fixed, but now in order to update new length and new width, I need to sync this field with real field. So over here, I will replace this with length field. Okay, and then over here, I will sync with with field. So now it is done. And then the square feet will be real time coming by multiplying these two. And then I need to update this quantity also with this new square feet field. So over here, what I will do is I will definitely jump and sync with the field which will replace me with the new square feet field. So this new square feet field I want to sync with my quantity in real time. Okay, so let me verify that. I want this to sync with quantity. And then I save this. So D2 and L2. Okay. D2 is the quantity which to get update and this is also going to sync with my quantity so I will desync this quantity and then I go back and then I will check again by editing this value to 20 by 10 so this 20 by 10 will be updated over here and then it will create a new sync field from here so once I go back 2010 will update here first and if I go back and save then it will update in the quantity. So to save a step let do one thing uh, this new square feet quantity only let us bring from you know like M2 and N2 in real time M2 multiply by N2 it is coming in real time so 20 by 10 now if I update anything like 15 by 10 and then save then everything will be available in one shot by making change in length and width in backend and then I can have this quantity over here. In another case uh, let's say if I am adding another line carpentry services let's say 100 by 10 then save this go into my code calculator now in order to achieve this I can you know bring that all the field into you know second line also because Odoo will automatically fetch the second line based on the list view and then I can make the changes for whatever changes I want to make like 10 by 2 and save then 10 by 2 become 20 and then it will fetch the service rate and calculate accordingly. So this is how you can also create your small small code calculator based on your service offering by adding this length and width field inside Odoo so that you can create a good code. Now in order to add this length and width in your you know quotation format let's see you can try like PDF code will now be generated with quantity visa with square feet with us like this. But in order to add this length and width also inside code, we can again use the PDF reports. So this is my report. And now inside the PDF code report, if I want to add the quantity before that a new column, we can also achieve that by adding insert left and then create a field which is X studio so let me go from cell the line so if I want to add field and the 
that field is nothing but my studio field so let me search for that studio field if we can find out here Fans, deadline, or a date. So, set out a template. I go inside that. If I try to find that inside code calculator. So, these are the standard field, which is not available over here, but it should be. So line is not available anywhere so let me still find a field which is compatible to add over here need is only the sale order line so sale order line is nowhere here so if i want to add a field over here linked order line then i want that field yeah length then i give a title and then i add one more column over here width and then a parameter field with okay so now i'm modifying my report also and then closing this so this report is ready to go then let's see how it looks so now length and width so length didn't come with came so there are some deficiencies in my you know field let's check that out reports again on this And call that field again. Okay. So let me save this. Go back here and print this port again, and let's see whether it comes or not. As a length and width came perfectly so yeah now your new report is also ready within this code calculator so this is how now you can build uh, your code calculator and edit the ONU report very easily with this guide hope this will help many people to create custom codes and add this new particular parameter into this thank you guys have a good day